Hey everybody, welcome back to Heat My Shorts. Hope you're all doing well today, still. Um, got a snack review this evening. It's like, yeah, like 8.30 tonight, and uh, I guess this is dinner, but something definitely different. This was actually a gift to us from Lady Shorts' parents. Now, I think that their tenants brought this back from France, but I'm not 100% sure about that, actually. This is, um... All in French, so I had to do a whole bunch of translating, not a whole bunch, a little bit of translating uh, from Google. I just Googled it word for word, uh, word by word, I suppose, and uh, figure out a little bit about this. I'm not going to try to pronounce that, but I'll show you that. Kind of gives you an idea of what's in there. Um, so, <clears throat> terrine is like a meatloaf similar to a pate. Uh, sanglier, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I do have some French in my blood, but I don't speak it fluently or even close. I gave up on that at a very young age. But uh, sanglier is boar meat, or, you know, wild pig. Um, galantine is a white meat and gelatin made from broth. Um, aspic is what the gelatin is called. It's, yeah, made from broth. So, nothing on this is in English. There's the ingredients. Some people might be able to translate it, but I had to go to Google for that as well. The ingredients are, as far as I could translate, lean, bold pork, lean, boar, 40% it says, salt, Nitrite, sugar, pepper, I assume black pepper, red wine, cornstarch. Those are the ingredients. It is made by these folks that are there. And uh, yeah, I don't know. This is canned boar meat. I'm pretty stoked to, uh, to try this out, actually. Something definitely different that we don't see much of things like this on this channel. But uh, let's do it, let's get into it. Um, I have no idea what this is going to be like. I even Googled it, looked it up on YouTube to see if I could find a review on this to see what I was getting myself into, but not much luck. I guess they do have a website, probably. That's not even listed. Um, so yeah, let's open this up. Got my can opener, and uh, I wonder if I should have a seat to do this, actually. Maybe I will, I'll have a seat to do this. And then I'll stand back up to, uh, to show you what we're dealing with. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> Hi, are you leaving? I hope you're not leaving. I hope you're not leaving. Or are you coming over because you want to know what this is? She probably thinks it's tuna. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi, Maggie. <laughs> Well, Maggie thinks it smells good. Okay, let's see what we have here. Uh... <laughs> okay. Thanks, Mama, Papa. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be honest. It doesn't smell very good. Um, it doesn't look good at all either. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to show you what this looks like. Oh. It smells like dog food, I'll be honest with you. It smells like dog food. And look who's very interested in this. How about that? She thinks it's for her. I'm not very excited about this, I'm gonna be honest with you. Can you see that? I hope, I hope you can see that. Okay, just, yeah, I gotta like, it just smells like meat. It's meat, right? It smells like meat. It smells like pork. It's just pork. 
and gelatin. Made from uh, broth, right? It's just, it's like soup. It's like... <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm not very excited about this, I have to be honest with you. You know me, I have to be honest with you. We'll show you what this looks like. It just kind of looks weird. So, okay, I'm going to... Yeah, nobody else is going to be eating from this. I was worried about taking a bite of this, but I'm going to try this a couple different ways. I don't know why, but... I guess just to be sure, to give it a proper review, because this is a review. It's kind of like a challenge also, but this is a review. So, this is canned boar meat from France, from <laughs> Lady Short's Mama Papa. Um, eat my shorts, I guess. I don't want to do this. <laughs> it smells weird. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Here, here it is. Eat my shorts. I don't put the H on it. Did you notice that? There's no heat. Okay. It's not bad. It's weird. It's different. But yeah, it's just like... I don't know. It's different. It's weird. It's like a like a soggy meatloaf with a little bit of a gamey taste to it, like a little bit of a wild taste to it. I'm not going to eat a whole bunch of this, but I am going to put... Yeah, make sure I'm showing any of the English side. I'm going to put this on a cracker and try it that way also. I'll have a seat to do this. We don't need to show you all of the pieces close up. You're hilarious, Maggie. Maggie says it smells really good. I'll even grab a few out, because I have an idea. No, Maggie, that's begging. No, you're begging. That's begging, Maggie. Okay. So let's try it on these Kellogg's Townhouse light and buttery flavored original crackers. There we go. Yeah, it's not bad. It's, um, the weirdness is mostly in my mind. Oh, almost spilt that. <laughs> almost spilt my cracker. Maggie. <laughs> You're breathing on my leg. <laughs> okay. Put the lid back on that or whatever. Yeah, it's like, it's like a meatloaf. It's extra salty, extra soggy. Um, the flavor, yeah, it's got zero heat. Cause I, you know, there's no spice with black pepper, I guess. Um, the flavor, it's not bad. It's really not bad. I'd give it a 6 out of 10, I think. It's a little bit off-putting because of the texture and, and whatnot, and the smell. It smells a little bit off-putting. It's not a terrible smell. It just, you know, it just smells like canned meat, I guess. Um, yeah, 6 out of 10, I think, for flavor rating. Would I recommend it? Yeah, you know what? I would recommend it. I Most things I would recommend, because I, I think that you should try things. I think that, you know, you might try it and not like it, but I think that you should try it. I recommend that you try these things if you ever have the opportunity, because it's something different. Uh, funky food, right? Funky food with Dave. Uh, try the funky foods. You might like them. You never know. You know what? I would never would buy that off the shelf if I saw it, but somebody gifted it to us, so I try it out give it an honest review. 
it's not bad. It's really not bad. I did this, well, no, it's not the same thing, but I, okay, I, I tried haggis, because I'm Scottish as well as French. I'm a few European things, but I felt that I should try Scottish, because my last name is Gillespie. It's a Scottish name. So I tried haggis one time, and I expected it to be gross. It's not bad at all. I actually kind of liked it. I, I got it again. It's a seasonal thing. You can find it in town here once in a while, but I got it again. It was, it was good. And it felt very Scottish. <laughs> so, yeah, I would recommend trying this. I wouldn't restock it, because it's probably expensive, and it's kind of just like a canned meat to me. You know, it's got that kind of gamey taste to it, but nothing too... Um, I don't know. Nothing, I don't know. Nothing too out of the ordinary, really. But, this is Heat My Shorts. So I think we should add some heat to this. I have here, Late for Scoville. This is a collaboration between Late for Work and the Scoville unit. Um, two really good buddies of m me and of each other that just competed in Zest Fest this weekend. Um, more than once too, and their partners both competed in a competition. It was so good. I'm so stoked that we got to see that live and that we can go back and check it out too. And there's all sorts of pictures and content popping up all the time too. It's really awesome. I'm really proud of Chris and Jason, and Kim and Beth, and everyone that went there. Honestly, even, I'm so stoked about seeing like Mike and Tammy, the Inked Gardeners, and Rob, uh, Texas, Walker Texas Peppers, seeing them in other people's videos and being interviewed and in the pictures and stuff. It's so awesome. Miller uh, from Miller's Savory Seasoning, he was there. Um, he was live streaming as well. It was awesome. I, I kind of felt like I was there. But anyways, I've actually had this tincture for a little while, so it's probably kind of evaporated, and it was hot before then as well. So, let's put some drops on this. This stuff has actually peppers and seasoning. It's got a nice savory flavor to it, and I think it'll go really well with this stuff. You know what this stuff actually kind of reminds me of? is head cheese. If you've ever had head cheese, and I know it's got a gross name, it's kind of a weird thing, head cheese, but it's not terrible. It's honestly not terrible. I didn't even count how many drops that was. I'm not trying to prove anything or anything. I'm just putting some spice on it and seeing how that changes the snack. So, this is canned boar meat on light and buttery crackers with late for Scoville pepper tincture. Let's try it this way. Heat my shorts. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Well, to be honest, I thought that that tincture was going to add more of that savory flavor to it. It added a nice heat to it, and I think it added a little bit of flavor, but not a whole lot. It didn't clash with it at all, but it really blended in nice with it. Added some heat to it, which is what we do around here. I love finding different foods that you can add heat to. Because using tincture, you can spice up almost anything. I, I can't think of anything that you wouldn't, you know, as far as food goes, anything that you wouldn't want to spice up. You can't have that. No, you can't have it. It would probably make you have a very upset tummy. And we wouldn't want that. You're a good girl. I'm happy that you came over for a visit, though. I kind of had a feeling that she was going to want something to do with that stuff. Mm hmm. You're a good girl. Yeah. So that probably put me to a 3 out of 10 on my heat skill from however many drops that was. I don't know, 10 or so. Something like that. But yeah. Good snack. Something different. Definitely something different. Like Dave says, try the funky foods. You might like them. You know what? It's not bad at all. I kind of like it. It's weird. It's different. It's funky, but... It's not bad. And it's something that I'm never going to be able to try again. I mean, probably, right? I've never seen it before. I've never even heard of canned boar meat. 
So that is pretty cool. Maggie thinks it's pretty cool too. She's a good dog. So anyways, I think I'll wrap this video up here. Did you see my new shirt? I wasn't gonna say anything about it. See it? Uncle Bull Cow shirt just showed up today. Um, it's just wrapped around the chair. <laughs> I just wanted to represent the, uh, the Bull Cow logo. I really dig that logo and those sauces. Gonna chop the sleeves off of it probably tonight. And uh, I guess that means we should review a another Uncle Bull Cow sauce soon. So I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Not much else to talk about here. Yeah. Um, in this corner, you'll see our Heat My Shorts logo. Make sure you click that. Click subscribe if you haven't already. I think we're at around 819 right now. Let's keep that number going up. Share these videos. Share the channels. Tell your friends. Tell your family. Let me know if you want some stickers. Actually, I know, Brandon, I still haven't sent yours out, and I'm sorry. I'm going to get on that very soon, buddy. I promise. Um, in this corner, Funky Food with Dave. Just because it's funky food. It's something different, and uh, if you like this video, you'll probably like his channel, their channel. Up here, the Scoville Unit. Chris and Beth's channel, check it out. They are awesome. They both did so well this weekend. Um, up here, a playlist for you to enjoy. Hope you have a great night. I love you all. I appreciate you all very much, and we will hang out again soon. I promise. It's been Heat My Shorts with Maggie and Steve. The Maggie Show. Bye-bye.